You are now, I know, say, since when did they colonize us for this Africa? Now, only one country now without benefit pass, and now Canada. 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 What were you guys expecting? Of course, you should know. Canada, USA, some European countries uh, work closely together. If UK drop one policy, the rest are sure. USA will follow and Canada will follow. And if US drop one policy, the rest are sure. UK will follow and Canada will follow. After UK announced a very tough, tough, strong one, tough visa restrictions eh? for foreigners, most especially Nigerians. Canada has done theirs. Not that tough though, but a little bit tough. Canada, 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 hmm? Canada, 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 Canada. So, according to the news, they say that Canada unveiled new visa requirement rising proof of funds from $10,000 to $20,000. Canadian authority has announced that cost of living, financial requirement for study permit applicant for international st uh, student will increase from $10,000 US dollars to $20,000 US dollars starting from January 1st, 2024. Mark Miller, Canadian Minister of Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship, made this announcement in a statement on Thursday Stating starting January 1st, the cost of living financial requirement for student permit applicants will be rise so that international students are financially prepared for life in Canada. For 2024, a single applicant will need to show that they have 20,000 US dollars representing 75% of LICO in addition to their first year of tuition and travel cost. This charge will apply to new study permit application received on or after January 1st, 2024. The statement read in the part. The review, which takes effect from January 1st, will help prevent student vulnerability and exploitation. The statement added. 10,000 to 20,000. That is not really much. They will try compared to the UK's very strong law. To UK very strong law. So it's kind of like it's, it's, it's kind of like good now. Hmm? It's kind of like good. But they're there again, huh? There again, we already know the cost of living in Canada now is really getting high. Housing, house rent is going up, skyrocketing. It's really difficult now in Canada. Really, really difficult. How oh, are Nigeria coping over there? I think all my Canadian brothers, reach out to me now. Let us know how you guys are coping. How is it over there? Is it easy? Is it easy? Because me, myself, I might decide to relocate my family to Canada. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's uh, see, though. Let's see. Let's see. Just maybe. Just maybe. We that are used to the way a Nigerian boyfriend used to pamper us. It's difficult to remain in a relationship in UK, especially with a white. So that was how one day this white brother said said to me, "Let's go out. Let's go out." I said, okay, let's go now. The cuckoo carried me to this Turkish, I'll be waiting in the corner, Turkish restaurant. Waiting me as I be to drop for there. I saw we other nonsense, so I could not even eat and well. We will come, the waiter came and then he was like, um, do you want the bill together or you want me to split it? The man said, split it, please. I was like, eh? <laughs> I said, okay. Maybe you want to pay half by card and half by uh, cash. So I ignored. 
That's how they came with. They handed one bill to me, handed another bill to him. I, I shall pay though because I don't want to be disgraced. But that was the last time I took his call. Why? Why should you tell me to come? Let's go out. If you don't have money to pay for the both of us, which one is less split bills? Less split bills. I mean, we'll speak in English. It's just so annoying, actually. It's, it's annoying. If you want to take me out, take me out. If I want to take you out, I'll take you out. Simple. Short. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I think that is absolutely what fits our Nigeria guys. And me, I want to ask this. Why I feel like I say for all those people? You know, anytime I won't make video, eh? you know, they always make video for street. The body be one big video about how life be for Europe or any country. If you carry, if you go outside, just they work out for street. Okay, maybe it's just to like to prove that yes, I am indeed in this country. And you can see the buildings; they are not the same like Nigeria. I can be in my house and I take a video. You will not understand if I'm in UK or in this or that, or I'm not in Nigeria. Maybe that's the reason why. Let me let me also make a reason for them. So this girl narrated how uh, we go someone who is psyching out they went out and uh, they hit and uh, the guy decided to split the bill. You know what that the freeze the advice uh, that the freeze the boss. It is time eh? restaurants. It is time whenever two persons come to that restaurant to your restaurants to eat. Please always ask the couple question. Should we split the bills? Don't just bring one long bill on one paper and just hand it over to the guy. Please always ask. It's about time we start instigating such rules in our culture. Going on all those days, we'll be tolerating our father's time. It's not our father's time because the women are getting reinvolved every year. They will tell you, oh, this is not our father's time. No, guys, why are you in the cake? Why are you living in that old day's life? Why are you still living that old days? Why? Why? Why are you still living in that old day's time? It's about time now. Uh -uh. Why? Why? How are you still living in that old day's time? Why now? All those ladies, they are learning every day. They are getting reinvolved. They are, they are adapting to the new life. But we guys, we are still living exactly the way our fathers lived. Taking care of the bill, paying everything, and doing everything for these women. And meanwhile, these women want to become feminists. These women don't want to get insulted. They don't want to do. They don't want to do that. They don't want to cook. They don't want to wash again. Then why are you still paying? Why are you still paying? Except if you have a wife, if you have a girlfriend, who is still, who still have that call value good and fine you can decide to what if you are in a relationship with someone who doesn't have that call value why are you troubling yourself or crying out loud why do you remain with someone who has reinvolved why you see why they say that man they quit they kill himself well that said let's leave there let's uh, forget about that uh, topic and uh, check out this video of uh, one of our ministers. That is Minister of FCT in a week. Dancing and happy. He even composed a song for Tinubu. He said, Tinubu, your mandate will shall stand. The FCT minister, Nelson Wiki, saying dancing at the office of the chief of staff, Femi. The same Femi who was accused of uh, having so many money. money Project. 
In the chief of staff's office. Well done. Very nice. I'm glad to I'm glad to see this. Yes, sir. <laughs> In the chief of staff's office. Well done. Very nice. I'm glad to I'm glad to see this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, I am on the